the Dallas Cowboys here in Frisco, Texas. It's the future of America's favorite sport. We have the 2019 Texas Classic of the Middle Middle School Bowl Series of USA Football here on Game One Sports. Nicolapius alongside Zach Wolchuk and Eric Giafalo. And guys, we got some great games coming up with the future of this great sport. And we already see uh, these are six graders coming in. And the size, the skill that we're going to see throughout the day is going to be a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, so we got the U14 squad playing here in the opener of the triple header. The Courage right now have the ball offensively. They will be in your red unis. The Valor squad defensively led by Coach John Medlow will be in the blue. No kickoffs to start this one off. Each team will just start right away with possession offensively. So we'll have Vaden Duggar, the quarterback for this Courage team. A toss and a fumble out at around the 33. And it looks like Valor will jump on it. And it's an early turnover for this Courage team. And the Valor will get the ball starting off on the Courage 33-yard line. Uh, they're fired up, and that was a nice play. Carter Ochoa, number 17 in blue, the defensive back from Bakersfield, California. Just put a helmet on the ball, dislodges that, so an early turnover, like you said there, Nick, for the Valor. And it looked like a little bit of a busted play there offensively, maybe a little bit of confusion. Look, these kids have been here since Thursday, playing with each other, learning the offenses. It'll be very simplistic, and maybe a little bit of miscommunication there that led to the early turnover. So Valor in the blue uniforms, a run to the left, and a decent run to about the 27, 28 yard line. We have the quarterback, Ethan Plum, number eight from South Eagle, Illinois, coming in for this Valor team. Owen Connor there, the wide receiver from Clemont, Florida, just getting the ball, a jet sweep, taking it right up the middle. And Eric, I know, hey, you're a fan of that. Just get the ball to your skill players in space and let them work with it. Absolutely, man. You know me well. And uh, these guys, listen, the nerves are out now, right? Courage, defense, backs against the wall from the start of this game. If they can get out of here with, uh, without having to give up a touchdown right here, that would be ideal for the Courage. Looks like Xavier Woods, linebacker for this Courage team, number 55, being helped to the sideline, got, able to get off on his own power run, able to break through the first tackle, trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, is met by a few red jerseys, gets back to the original line. Jared Jackson. Jared Jackson, My man. Lord, just blew <laughs> that play up in the backfield. Now an excellent job to break the tackle. Local guy, too. You can tell, hey, the quickness right off the ball there for Jackson. Yeah, Grand Prairie's known, man. They have uh, athletes all over the field. Looks like Jared Jackson, the sixth grader, already making plays here uh, as, as one of the handful of guys that is a local kid already putting a footprint on this game. Good size there in the interior, too, for man, this Courage defensive the size, line. The size is just incredible. Sixth graders, man. Third down and five. Plum out over, trying to get oh, it back to number 16. Great play design it, there. I know, it was. And they set it up well. You know, in uh, a very aggressive defensive front there for the Courage. They just take off right away. The linemen do a good job of just peeling off to set up inside the flat to get their blocks going for that screen. Just not able to make the catch in the flat. That's one of those situations there you get excited. You're about to get the ball. You just take your eyes so much it. open green ahead yeah. of you. First down, maybe touchdown. And now it's fourth down. Here we go. So fourth and five on the 28. Valor trying to keep the drive going after forcing the turnover on the opening drive from the Courage. Plum gets the snap. Here comes a blitz as Plum breaking out to the left. Has a man open. It's going to be just short. A turnover on downs. The Courage defense, Eric, like you said, backs were against the wall. Only giving up five yards right there. We'll get it right back to their offense. Gosh, that's exactly how you set the tone. Everything's sort of falling apart from the jump here, and the defense steps up, makes a big-time play. Great series there. And wouldn't you know it, E.J. Thomas on the defensive line. We've already seen Gerard Jackson. Now E.J. Thomas in the interior getting that pressure. As a quarterback, that's the worst thing you can, you can see is when those interior guys are in your face from the start. Quarterback did a nice job getting out of the pocket, just couldn't, uh, couldn't connect. So Vanden Duggar and this Courage offense going back Trick on play. it. A bit of a reverse, doesn't go in their favor. It's fumbled down around the 15, and another fumble again right around the 18. And Valor says they have it again. The referees do give it back to the Courage, though. So All right, boys. a couple of 
A this couple is, of turnovers. They're a little loose with the football <laughs> here. We got, we got to get here. a little high and tight. I get it. You know, the jitters early on, you haven't played with each other a ton. Busting out the trick player. The, young, the youngest <laughs> kids, yeah, you're doing that little double reverse in the backfield. But the thing is, not only was the, the initial exchange fumbled when they finally made a connection, then you fumble it again along the sidelines. I mean, two penalties, you got uh, two turnovers almost here in the first opening series. You got away with the first one. I don't know if you'd be as lucky with the second. Yeah, Owen Connor beating himself up for that one a little bit. I got a feeling he makes a play to make up for it in no time. Second down and 15, looking for a quick pass. Able to get so right around the 30-yard line, an easy catch. And Justin Tisdale looked like was able to fall forward. And, and that's Mitchell, Mitchell Melton. He's been impressive all week, oh, man. One of the highlighted oh, kids, yes. no doubt. Did a great job in the scrimmage Saturday night. Been consistent. Dude can block, too. I mean, we saw him make a play out there He's with got the good hands. Size. Oh, yeah, great size. You put him in line. I got a couple of pancakes on the way from Mr. Melton. I'll, I'll, I'll guarantee that. Repping that old Chris Cooley, 47. Looking that sharp. End. Looking <laughs> sharp. They're able to pick up six. Brings up third and nine on their own 29. Skirts trying to get the first first down of this ball game. Now they got Melton split out wide. I mean, talk about a versatile guy. So third down and nine from the shotgun, and really no chance at all. <laughs> James Johnson. Holy cow. The kid I mean, from Athens. Bull rushes that pull right tackle, and then a good job to just peel right off, and then the finish on the sack. You know, we've already seen it once. You get a penetration play in the backfield, but you don't finish with the play. That time, Jackson, he gets a hold of that quarterback and swings him right down to the turf. Yeah, Duggar had nowhere to go with it. It's unfortunate because he had Melton up the sideline. Pretty good play design, man. Just what a great play there by James Johnson. Probably won't be the last time we see a big play from number 77. Fair caught right around the 45-yard line, and Valor will get a back look and put the first points up on the board. And Zach, you mentioned that these guys have had a couple of days to kind of practice with each other. They got here on Thursday and really just trying to get familiar with each other we've seen already that been a bit of an issue so far for both these squads. No doubt. I mean, you've got four days basically and, and you keep everything pretty simple in terms of your offense and defense. You know, you're not going to play anything outside of a cover one to a cover three. Maybe a little bit of six man odd rushes with a blitz. You see one there and I believe we're going to get an offsides call coming up here on the Courage. This will be the first penalty of this uh, first of three games, Valor in blue, Courage in the red uniforms. And it is offside to be five free yards. It looks like Vance Provost coming in on that linebacker blitz, got a little excited, can't blame him. Anytime you get to rush off the edge, and he was free too, he was coming. He was yeah, pinning those I mean, He could back. tell, I'm open. <laughs> you know, yeah, he's no, ready I don't have, a, there's no hat lined up on me. I'm not getting blocked. I've got a free run here at the quarterback. Like you mentioned, these defenses aren't going to get too exotic, but they, they will bring a blitz from time to time. Be a handoff trying to get to the outside, not able to do so. As that was Vincent Durfus getting right in there. The big the man. Right back Gosh, what a moose. That's a space eater right there. I mean, you, you shed the block and then you make the play. That's all. That's all you can ask for. Look at the look at the D line right there from the courage. No, hey, Just I, beast after they beast. They got some beef. Good God. You want to say, where's the beef? Yeah, It's right there the in the Courage defensive it's right line there. interior. I see four of them. That was 95, Vincent Durfus and 98, Keegan Davis, the first ones in on the action. So they'll try an option this time, and a good run, block out to the far sideline, getting past the 25, inside the 25. It'll be a first down. Courage sent the linebacker Fuller on the blitz right there up the middle, which would have been perfect if they would have handed it off. But unfortunately, Cameron Cooper, way too smart for that. Look at those wheels, and we're off to the races. Now, Cooper, a, an excellent job there to keep that himself. You know, instead, he just pulls it, keeps it off that left side. Good blocking on the edge there by the receiver. And probably the best offensive play we've seen so far today from either squad. The defenses have really controlled the tempo here through the first half of the opening quarter. But here we go with the Valor on the move. Cooper back in from Colorado Springs, Colorado. We talked about coming in on Thursday, really the emphasis is on the skill and kind of the IQ part, and a nice little screen off to the outside. Again, able to make a man miss, getting toward that first down marker. 
brought down maybe really just a yard short. Great call there from the Valor. Obviously, the, uh, the Courage defense coming out and a man look. Everybody's sort of staring at their own guy. They don't realize that the running back's about to slip out in front of them, get a nice little gain there on first down. Exactly what you want. Well, and especially when you look at the Courage defense, they've been extremely aggressive. So they catch them coming upfield, and then you just slip the screen out there. That time it worked, executed well. JV and Dentally with a nice little move. Sidestep there, slip through a tackler, and pick up some extra yards. Yeah, if the Courage are going to keep bringing those linebackers, one way to uh, to slow that down a little bit, slow that pass rush down especially, do some screen action. So Valor marching down the field, second down and two. A man in motion It's going to be a jet sweep trying to get past the outside, able to do so, and breaks one tackle, trying to find some room, not able to do so, will be brought back a few yards and bring up third down. You know, we've talked about the size inside so far for the Courage, but they've also got a lot of speed. And any time now, they've tried to run outside that sideline to sideline quickness of not only the defensive line, but the linebacking core right now of the Courage, they have sniffed that out. Yeah, Xavier Woods did a great job. Linebacker there out of Kansas, man. What a great play setting well, that edge. It's not the Cowboys safety, Xavier Woods? <laughs> no, it's not, no it's not, but it looks like he, uh, he may have Cowboys sights in his future. So third down and five, a run right up the middle. Getting back. Ball's out. Ball is on the ground. Not the first time we've seen that today, gentlemen. Yeah, that's a fumble. Wow. Courage recovers. So look Another like great defensive stand out of the Courage, yeah. Nick. Looked like Valor might be able to get some points up on the board, a run right up the middle, and Courage able to first a turnover. So turnover for each team so far. Two possessions in a row where the Courage defense backs against the wall. First time they start, it's a fumble on the first play of the game. You got to run out there, and you're already starting way backed up in your own territory. And now, now they get another great defensive stand there to prevent it. I can't say I'm super surprised to see the defense is having success early on. I think when you have you know, just a short few days to work together, it kind of benefits the defense a little bit more than the offense. Yeah. You know, there's so much that goes into having that kind of continuity, getting the timing down, the rhythm, that comfortability offensively, especially in the passing game. And we haven't really seen a lot of passing early on. It's really been run, run, run through both sides. Couple of screen plays, easy plays for the quarterback. So Courage come back out, ball on their own 13. Another quick dump out to around the 17 yard line will pick up a few. Another tight end, Aiden Wynn getting in on the action, man. Double tight end set there. When you got Milton, or Melton, excuse me, and then you get a guy like Nguyen. That's a great security blanket there for the quarterback. Yeah, Aiden Nguyen from Peoria, Arizona. And it is an absolutely perfect safety valve there for these quarterbacks just to kind of get comfortable, get in rhythm early on. Just get the ball out to your tight ends. Looks like we've got David McComb in at quarterback now, and he takes a shot. Yeah, well, it's just a, a muffed exchange there off the snap. So Shane Hutton getting in right on top, and like you said, not able to handle the snap, and number 98 was right there to wrap him up and bring up third down along. It's another big boy, Sean Hutton, from Louisville, Texas, potential future fighting farmer. Yeah, Lewis both, had a both really defensive good year lines. Last year. Both defensive lines are just dominant so far to start this game. But the size, like I'm blown away for U14. These are some <laughs> big boys. Third down and nine, back on their own 14. Bit of a high snap, able to bring it in, going deep, has a man open, and it's incomplete. Mm. Oh, gotten into double coverage and not able to bring it in. Looks like that was number 24, Diego Coleman. Some nice coverage there, though, over the top. And that ball just kind of hung up in the air. Yeah, it sailed a little bit. And Diego sort of lost his footing there, but hey, another good defensive stand from the Valor, and it's just kind of been a defensive ball game to, at the start of this thing. Now so far, you're, you're seeing very, almost very high football IQ from these young players, and that's something that you really like to see after a few years being in this program. Seen some smart play so far. This one will be fielded right around the 40, maybe the 39 yard line. And the Valor will look to put something up on the board with 152 to go in a first in the first quarter. Well, field position was something coming into this one that, that was of note, especially when you're talking about the youngest of the three games that will play today and maybe some of the early struggles that we've seen from the offenses. 
and the field position has certainly favored the Valley. Now, I think they've started inside the 40 virtually all three of their possessions thus far. I've been surprised that the Valor haven't tried to settle for three at all. They've been uh, close enough for ticker Josh Gill. This dude can put it through 40, 45 yards with ease. And uh, that could come into play later on in the game. Nathan Commander now the quarterback in for Valor from Alabama trying to another screen pass on that far side. Not able to bring it in, though, was Ethan Lawler. Yeah, Allen just doinks right off the hands. You see Lawler trotting back over to the huddle, shaking his head. He knows he should have had that one. I don't know how much he'd have been able to get. It, it was going to be mono a mono in space along the sidelines, working on the defensive back there. Carter gels. Yeah, and Valor's clearly trying to, one, make, get some easy throws there for your quarterback. Unfortunately, they've had a couple of drops there from the, from the running back and then there again from the receiver. But... Uh, they're trying to use that that athleticism and that aggression from that courage defense, use it against them a little bit. So second down and 10 after the incompletion. Commander trying to find a way out. And there's that aggression paying off for courage once again. Do you think that was a design quarterback draw? It looked like it to me, and yep. Jaden Fuller, the linebacker, read it beautifully, come in there and make the stick behind the line of scrimmage. Now you get him in third and long, exactly where you want him to be. I mean, this courage defense, aside from one or two plays here or there, they've just been flawless. So third and 12, you think Valor, I guess they got to go deep at this point, but do they have the offensive line to kind of keep back this courage rush? That's the question. There has not been a lot of time awarded to either of these quarterbacks. And that's when, you know, I, I know you've got kind of a very vanilla offensive set, but maybe you try to get a moving pocket a little bit, try and give these quarterbacks a little bit more time to look downfield and find an open man. And I want to see some of these secondary players get tested. We got some athletes out there. Boy, do we ever. I mean, you talk about guys like Garrison Blair there for uh, for Valor. I mean, this kid, uh, he could be a future at the cornerback position for this USA program. The dude's built like a rock, can play man coverage straight up. He'll lay the wood on these guys. And, uh, you know, that's just one. And there's a bunch of them out there on both sides of the ball. Yeah, we have a quick timeout here. US, USA Football, a member of the U.S. Olympic Committee, offers athletes premier skill building and competitive platforms to represent the United States in our favorite sport. Athletes in grades 6 to 11 can get started on one of 18 U.S. national team regionals held nationwide this spring and summer. Top performers earn U.S. national team roster invitations to face the world's best competition play for and at under 16 to 19 levels. Visit usafootball.com for more. That's usafootball.com. And again, talking about that team pathways, we have a lot of players that come in and they're already kind of studs, but we have a lot of players coming in as well that go through this past two or three years to really get underneath that coaching. We got some great coaches here this week, but that pathway is something uh, maybe a lot of people should consider. They try to go to the outside run, able to get not back to the line of scrimmage, and again, that Courage defensive line just getting the penetration early on. It's almost like a delayed draw, in a sense, out of the shotgun there. And, you know, it's just, it's too slow developing. And right now, the offensive line just can't hold up. I mean, it seems like everybody is running free on that defensive front right now, the Courage. Yeah, Durfus and Turner, man, just absolutely swallowing up these offensive linemen. And on third and long, you're, you're pretty much conceding a punt there. Josh Gill with the punt, trying to pin Courage down deep, and we'll bring it right around the 13, 14-yard line. How about that name, though, for the uh, for the quarterback for the Valor, Nathan Commander. Commander. I mean, exactly. I mean, that's just a perfect name for a quarterback. You just draw it up beautifully <laughs> right there. He was born to play quarterback. I can't wait to see Natural Nathan born leader. a little bit of time uh, in Probably, the I would assume. We can see him. He's used his wheels already once or twice. See him get that arm going, man. Commander, what a great name. Counter here, we talked about the positive field position for the Valor, the Courage. Well, they've been just in the shadow of their own end zone seemingly the entire first quarter. Have a comb back out there for Courage. Let's see what he can do. I haven't They're been able to get past their own 25. Trying to go deep. It's a bit underthrown. Good defense there. Oh, that secondary is broken up. That's the second time they've tested that right side going down deep on the sideline. Wonder if they see something they like over there. I mean, it's been there. Unfortunately, the ball's hung up in the air a little bit, and the receiver hasn't been able to really find it. Yeah, they, they want to get to Diego Coleman from Colleen, Texas. 
Number 24 in red there, and he, he does have a little bit of a size advantage, it would appear. That was Reed Sprague, the cornerback, with the deflection. Now they're going with a quarterback go. run, breaking it back toward the middle, past the 20, trying to get back to this near sideline. Has a lot of open room, past the 40, all the way out to midfield, and is brought down at the 50-yard line. A big play there. David McComb. Earlier, he had a rolling pocket. You see that? So they, they roll over to the right side, and there's a clear cut back lane on the quarterback keeper. You've got over aggressive defenses on both sides. So he rolls over to the right, and then he sees the cut back lane, and he's got a ton of green in front of him working off that left side. No, that was that was a call to perfection right there from the blocking with the offensive line and those tight ends and fullbacks they had in there getting getting the edge set, and then McComb with the great vision to cut it back, and he showed off the wheels. Tom and Levy. now you talk about Gardner's field position. Now they can Our finally get in plus athletes. territory for the first time of the game. And uh, the courage ball. on the move. That's a great play right there. So that's the end of the first quarter. Still no score. We come back. Courage have the ball. The best field position so far for this Courage team at the 50-yard line. That's exactly how you want to end the quarter right there if you're the Courage. All quarter long you've been backed up against the end zone in your own territory. Big play there, get the juices flowing. You fumbled the ball about 100 times already, and look, it's still 0-0. <laughs> your defense stepped up for you. Now the offense comes out there. McComb leading the way. Let's see if we can go get some points, baby. USAfootball.com is your home to gain an edge on the field. Be a better coach, player, or football parent at USAfootball.com as we are back with the second quarter of action. Courage at the 50-yard line, their best field position so far. It was David McComb, the quarterback from El Cajun, California, with a nice quarterback run, able to cut it back to the near sideline and got a big gain there. First down and 10, start off the second quarter, back and a nice play in front. A flag is down, able to get down to around the 30. Oh, Might be coming no. back. It's in the area of a hold, and that is unfortunate because that was gorgeous. A beautiful throw, but an excellent job just kind of sitting, sitting down in the zone there from Aiden Wynn, the tight end. Nice positive play, and it's going to come back. The big man showing off soft hands and nimble feet. What a great play there from the tight end Wynn. And we talked about it with Melton and Wynn. These, I mean, McCombs got himself two stud tight ends. And in this day and age of football, there's nothing more you could ask for. That not only can these guys block, but clearly they can show off some wheels. It was a nice catch by the tight end. Coming back, though, with the holding penalty. First, second down and 20, rather. Back to their own 40-yard line. McComb back in the quarterback. Rolling out again, has a man open. It's Nguyen again, back to the original line of scrimmage and is knocked out at the 47-yard line. Nice job, first and 20, you're able to pick up 12. You talk about moving the pocket, getting your quarterback outside, nice play action, roll out, make it a little bit easy. Make your quarterback not have to read both sides of the field and your tight ends wide open. And once again, Nguyen making a play. And it's another good call just to get the ball out quick. Come out in the same look here. Second down and seven. McComb back in the pocket, has another man open, able to break out a one tackle right around the 40 to the, right to the first down marker. We'll see if they give it to him, but a nice play right there. Easy pitch and catch. Another kid from Texas, Cedar Hill, Parker. Yes. Little guy, but great hands, quick as can be. For those people that aren't aware, Cedar Hill is a powerhouse in Texas high school football. The Longhorns winning a pair of back-to-back -back state champions in 15 and 16 championships. So Roderick Harper was able to bring it in and got to the first down. Now McComb back to the outside, has a couple of blocks and out at the 25-yard line. So number 17 can run the ball. Yeah, look out now, David McComb is in rhythm. He made two really nice passes back-to-back, -back. balls out quick, hits that back foot, boom, it's out. And then here you're seeing the wheels with his ability to run on the move. Nice job following his blockers there, moves the chains. And for the first time, we're really seeing an offense start to threaten. Yeah, Courage clearly playing with some confidence here. We got offensive linemen 
Jerron Johnson out there, number 58, dancing. He can feel it. He's getting some pancakes. James Jones' offense playing, playing well. First and oh. 10, brought it in. What a catch. And he's down at the one-yard line. My goodness. Now we know why they've been trying to get it to Diego all game. What a fantastic play. Just in the air, back shoulder throw there from McComb. That was beautiful. And he's contested. I mean, what a gorgeous play. Both sides, Diego Coleman going up there, hands extended, gets it at the high point, but a throw from McComb. He zipped that one in there. Ball just inside the one yard line. So Diego Coleman with the big catch first and goal right outside the goal line. A bit of a high snap will run it up the middle, trying to force their way in. No signal yet will be just short. <laughs> yeah, McComb signal. See, please. <laughs> hey, it's in there. Come on, guys. Uh, now a good job defensively up front by the Valor D to keep him out. It's Gage Rowland trying to run it through the pile. Second down and goal. We do have a player down. One of the offensive linemen for this Courage team. Another great name, Brady Tank, I think it is. Number 60 offensive lineman there for the Courage. Hopefully he's okay. But those goal line situations, everybody's fighting for that one inch, man. Things happen. Really nice job, though, here on this drive by the Courage. We've seen the passing game start to develop a little bit more, pushing the ball downfield. And then, of course, you had the really nice play by McComb, the quarterback, uh, on, on the keeper with the run. So you're starting to see a little bit more comfortability here offensively for the Courage. They're starting to find a little bit more of a rhythm. Yeah, it all started with that last play of the first quarter, getting McComb outside on that designed run and getting him to use those legs. And that just breathed life into this Courage offense, which was finally in plus territory for the first time all game. It looks like Tank getting up under his own power. That's great news. That's good to see. Like you said, Tank able to get back up. Hopefully everything looks to be Okay for the linemen out of Salem, Oregon. That'll bring up a second down and goal. As Courage looks to put points up on the board first. Eight minutes to go in the first half of action. So we got a lineman named Tank. We got a quarterback named Commander. <laughs> These parents know what they're doing. Here we go. It's going to be McComb trying to get to the outside. Broke a few tackles. A flag comes down. Stopped behind the line. Really athletic job there from McComb just to keep fighting away. He shrugged off two tacklers. And he's he comes away a little bit gimpy. He's holding his back. And we do have a flag for him. And it's going to be offensively there on the Courage. Yeah, it looks like Courage wanted to get another one of those designed runs, get McComb outside and use those wheels, get to the edge. Only had about six inches to go, but that Valor defense getting great penetration. They were not going to let that play happen again. They've been burned on it twice already. Not going to allow it to happen for a third time, in which case would have ended up in a touchdown. Now they're backed up. And let's see, we've seen we've seen the Courage defense backed up now two or three times. They've come away with a victory. Let's see if Valor can do the same. So McComb looks to be okay. Got up a little slowly on that last run. They're going for a pass. Has a man open. It's going to win again. Back down around the three. Is staying up on his feet. He's taking a trio of blue jerseys to take him down. He's down at the four. Bring up third down and goal. But another nice play by number 84. A good open field tackling there. But you win the toughness. Just not going to be denied. It ends up taking about two or three. Valor defenseman to finally get him on the ground. Now a third down and goal from the four. I'd go right back to the win. Or you might have man to man. Now it's the short side of the field. You might want to go up to the far side here. It looks like you've got Nathan Turner. I have offsides here. It was Nathan Turner who took off just a, a second early. Courage has had a lot of starts. success. A lot of success out of this formation. For that Courage. is a killer. That trips right. Penalty, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, that trips right to the short side of the field there for Courage. That's been a great formation for them so far. They they did a bunch with it earlier as well uh, that, that resulted in a big gain. But this trip situation here that they keep rolling out looks like they might. Well, no, the, now they got Nguyen sort of in there as that sniffer back. I bet they go back to Nguyen here. They're going to try the reverse. Has a lot of open room trying to get to the corner. Not able to do so. A big play in front. Well, this, this number five is unbelievable. <laughs> and we don't have a five of this We don't have them on here. On our roster, which is unfortunate. It might be Cameron Scott from Holtham City. Maybe Elijah Price there. But what a play, yeah. nonetheless, by number five, able to close down the open room and brought him down. Only a gain of two, so here comes a field goal attempt. I thought Harper may have had the edge there, but what a great defensive play. In trouble with the snap, Espinoza looking to put up the first points of the ball game. And it's no good. It's to the right, so we still have a shutout. 5.51 to go here in the second quarter. Oh, Valor pumped. <laughs> yeah, well, they stepped up defensively. Like I said, we've seen Courage do it a couple of times so far today, and a couple of penalties, a couple of big defensive stops, and Valor gets the victory there on the defensive side of the ball. Give it back to your offense and see if they can get things going. They haven't had too much success through the air, a little bit on the ground, but that Courage defense Starting with the defensive line, those linebackers running all over the place, and just the, the aggression and the speed of this Courage defense has really gotten the best of Valor to this point. Now Ethan Plum in there at quarterback. Let's see what he can do. We know this guy's got all the tools. Another flag coming in. Flag on the play. Might be another false start. It is. False start. So both teams struggling to stay perfect on the penalty side of things. Another penalty this time. It's on Valor. Here comes a blitz on the outside and a nice oh wrap up there. Goodness, what a gorgeous Sean tackle. Johnson, I believe. It was indeed Sean Johnson, Nick. Beautiful play. Just trying to get it out there in the flats. He comes up. He knows. Hey, I've got to make this tackle in space, or good no who knows what is going to happen afterwards. He's really the only man out there, and he comes up, and that's exactly how you teach it. Textbook play there. He's seen his defensive linemen, teammates. He's seen his linebackers make some plays. He said, you know what, I'm trying to get out on the action too. Yeah, guys, so far we've seen the defensive backs on both of these teams really making some heads-up plays. Trying for a screen, another tackle. Maybe behind the line football came out. Xavier we'll Woods once down again. Before, though. Yeah. Second time we've seen him flash today. Plays in the backfield all over. First it was on the run play. That time retraces his steps. Gets out there after the running back. And uh, gets him behind the line of scrimmage. What a great play. Yeah, and again in space. Just a really nice tackle here defensively from the courage. They are showing their skill set. My boy Keegan Davis in there in the middle. Imagine trying to block him. Gosh, I mean, you're in sixth ball. grade. A big, big kid. You're trying to enjoy your summer. Next thing you know, you got Keegan Johnson. It's that Kansas Keegan City Davis barbecue. Yeah, that KC barbecue. I hope he's had some <laughs> Texas barbecue since he's been in town the last few days. Third and 17, Plum trying to escape, able to do so momentarily, looking for an open man. Has someone down around the 40, but it's intercepted, underthrown. And is brought down that time. It's Keeson Meeks with the interception. Third down at 17. Ethan Plum is trying to make a play down the field. And he rolls out. And I love the escapability. He showcased that several times already in this first half. But he's got to know. He doesn't have a man open. Hangs that ball up underneath, and it ends up being intercepted. Yeah, it's third down. a punt, maybe. <laughs> We've seen some of these. A little bit, right? yeah, a little bit. Like you said, a great job by Plum getting out of the pocket, using his wheels. But just a great play there. Deshaun Meeks. 
Stephen Gill in at quarterback now for the Courage. Has a nice slant pattern. Trying to break it back to the inside. Has a lot of blockers trying to get to that end zone and is in. And the Courage strike first. Carson Darby, the little elm kid from Texas. What a great play. As soon as Gill steps in the game, we know about this kid's skill set. Absolute field generals. One of the strongest arms we've seen out of sixth grader. And just a beautiful play. He had a complete wall in front of him of blockers. Mr. Darby makes a fantastic play. Yeah, no flags either. And a really good job blocking to spring him loose. Darby with the speed to finish. Our first touchdown of the game comes with 3.51 to go in the first half. We're starting to see these offenses show a little something now. Yeah, started with McComb leading the charge, mostly with his legs. It's a beautiful get right down the middle. Right down the middle, so 7 0 Courage, 3.51 to go. And Zach, like you said, we're starting to see the offenses starting to loosen up a little bit. We've seen a couple of nice plays on both sides, but right there, we have Stephen Gill come in and make the easy pitch and catch for the first score of the ball game. How about that from Stephen Gill? First play, first snap. Let's go ahead and throw a touchdown one for one. I'll go ahead and take a seat, coach. <laughs> This Courage defense, so far they've had their backs pinned, but have stood strong every time. Got a turnover last possession. There's Keeson Meeks forced the turnover. So Valor coming in now. Cameron Cooper in at quarterback, Colorado Springs, Colorado Springs kid. We'll have a sweep here on this near sideline, picking up. About four yards that time was Braden Chavez. Vance Provost, man, we've seen him flash so far at the linebacker position today. Just a great job stretching that play out. He was right there in the hole, and uh, Braden Chavez said, nope, don't want to do that. Provost said, all right, no problem. I'll stretch you out to the sideline. I'll give you two yards. You know, I'd like to see Chavez, though, take that north and south. I think so, too. And get up the field. You're, you're giving up ground there, trying to make that to the outside. And we've already talked about the sideline to sideline speed here of this Courage defense. So Cooper and shotgun. So quarterback run, try, again, trying to get to that sideline. Able to cut it back, a nice move. Gets toward the first down markers. Brought down just about a yard short at the 39. Courage, once again, bringing the linebacker Fuller. And uh, it pays off for him, except for the fact that, man, Cameron Cooper's got some legs on him. Yeah. Now, what, what does Cameron Cooper do, though? He cuts back inside, he lowers his shoulders, <laughs> and he runs right up the field. North and south. You know, we're, we're not getting cute here, trying to run around the edge and the perimeter and try and go out wide and use your speed. Everybody's fast right now on the field. You just lower your shoulders, square up, and let's go ahead and go helmet on helmet, pad on pad. And that lowering of the shoulder got him that extra yard, did get Pick up the first down. Now we'll go for a pass down the field. Is caught over the top. It has a lot of room. No one's going to catch him. And the Valor response, a quick strike. So that is Madden Williams. Williams. What a, another <laughs> great name. What and a football name. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for Madden Williams to make a play here today. This kid, and it's one-to-one -one again. And who wants it? He goes up there, reaches the ball at the highest point. Defender gets turned around, isn't sure where it is. Madden Williams takes it, the difference. But that has to be a situation. His parents grow up playing the video game. We're naming our kid Madden. Yeah. And he is a baller. <laughs> no, he absolutely is. Gill in to attempt the extra point. Oh, we saw a one-handed touchdown grab out of Williams in the scrimmage just the other night. The dude makes fantastic catch after catch just in random mundane practices throughout the week. And he shows off those great hands once again. And it was just a great call. I mean, once again, we see Courage with the linebacker blitz being aggressive. They had no safeties over top. We're just going man-to-man. -man. Madden Williams says, throw it up, baby. I'll go make a play. Well, how about did you just see the 14 and under able to high point the ball at such a young age. That's definitely something, like you said, it's probably just the football name. You have the first name of Madden. You got to be good at football. And right there, able to high point it and break free and then showed off the speed, close it out, tied up 
Seven apiece, 314 to go with Courage. Looking to get right back. Quick pass, picks up a few yards before being knocked out. Five is just a, a menace. Yeah, he's all over the field. All over the field. Once again, we get the courage moving the pocket, making things a little bit easier on your quarterback. Gills, two for two. He's got a touchdown already. The confidence is through the roof. And thank God he's got a great security blanket at the tight end position. Mr. Mitchell Melton. So Mitchell only able to pick up two. You mentioned these guys high pointing the ball, Nick. I mean, we just saw it with Madden Williams. We saw it with Diego Coleman earlier. It didn't result in a touchdown, but got right down there to about the one-inch line. These guys know how to play some football at a young age. So a run up the middle by Drew Earhart from Bennett, Nevada. Good tackle by Mason Skimbo working inside there. Sets up a third down. You know, I was talking about 98, Keegan Davis on the defensive line for the Courage, but my goodness, the Valor got themselves a big boy, 98, Mr. Sean Hutton, the <laughs> Louisville kid. What a moose. And Hutton started the game early with one of the best defensive plays to open things up in that first quarter. That would probably be someone we see on Friday nights soon enough, like you said, potentially a fighting farmer. Trying to go deep, has a man open, and just about a step over through him was looking for Chavez again. And Chavez was there. Braden Chavez had a step there on both defensive backs that were covering him over the top. Safety help, beat his corner, stacked him, did an excellent job. Ball just a little too over to the sideline, but one that Chavez maybe had a chance to make. Yeah, Gill shows off that strong arm once again, and Cam Scott, the DB out of Haltom, Local kid, looks like he uh, may have gotten a hand on him, but ref says, nope, we're not gonna throw the laundry. So with 2.12 to go, Valor will have the ball right around midfield as they have a little bit, bit of momentum going their way now on the offensive side, see if they can grab their first lead going into the halftime break. Back trotting out here. The commander himself. All right. They're spreading them out, trip set. So Nathan Commander back in. Ball on the 50 yard line, 212 to go. A handoff right up the middle, able to pick up four. Nice. And, and right there, there's no wasted motion. There's no hesitation. There's no delays. It's get the snap, draw play, boom, get up the field. You pick up a nice five yards, you're setting yourself up ahead of the chains. Yeah, really nice play there, running back Steven Jordan. Gets the ball 100 miles an hour north and south. Let's not play any games. Not much time here, obviously. Things are dwindling down. Valor's going to have to be able to throw the ball here, which they haven't had a ton of success doing today, other than Mr. Madden Williams. And they got him. Well, it doesn't even look like he's on the field right now. Valor with two timeouts left, a minute and a half to go. Screen able to set it up, gets past the 45, breaks out of one tackle, oh. lost the football, and is recovered by Courage. Well, you hate to see that. Steven Jordan, he makes a great play as a running back on the previous play. He does a nice job out of the backfield there. Great catch, just fighting for the extra yards. Knows that the half is dwindling down. Got to get everything you can. And uh, sometimes defense, man, when you're fighting, you rally to the football, you get enough red jerseys to the ball, somebody can go punch that thing out. Yeah, I think it was Kashawn Meeks, 27 in red. They came over there and punched that out. Like Turnover said, machine. Just gang tackling, and you're fighting for extra yards. You get him to stand up there, and you come in here and just punch that football out. Big turnover, minute 21, trying to go down the field, take the lead there. And now all of a sudden, coming on back, the Courage have an opportunity to take the edge going into the halftime break. There's Dominic Collins out of Lawton, Oklahoma, picked up the fumble. Got it back for the Courage. They have all three timeouts, a minute 21 to go. Trying for a quick pass on that near sideline. Not able to bring it in was Cash Webb. Looks like pressure. they're going with Vanden Duggar out there to close out the half here. We've seen Duggar a couple of times, uh, and unfortunately it was at the start of the game when the, uh, the Valor defensive line was just all over the place. And Duggar couldn't get much going. Let's see if he can put a drive together here to close the half. It's 
Second down and 10. A little bit of a shovel pass. Got past midfield right around the first down marker. Looks like he will get right to that first down marker. He did get out of bounds to stop the clock. Justice Nicholson, welcome to the game, man. A nice, nice job play. there, good play design. Yeah, just that little quick fake. They catch, catch the defensive line rushing right up the field. And you do that quick shovel pass, pitch, almost an underhand yeah. toss <laughs> just to get it out there into the flats. Whatever it was, it was effective. First and 10 into Valder territory. They got Melton split out wide here. Let's see if they can find him. 65 seconds to go. Three timeouts left for Courage. They try to go. Almost intercepted. Yeah, I won there. Try to find Weber again. It was good coverage from Reed Spray Sprague, defensive back. And he just ate that up. But it, again, you know, Chavez was open off that right side if they had to hit him. Or excuse me, Dominique Collins. Uh, it's Owen Connor, excuse me, from Clermont, Florida. Number one in red off that right side. You see him here at the bottom of your screen. Second down and 10, tied at seven. 59 seconds to go in the first half of action. A handoff right up the middle, able to break through a few tacklers and gets down. That was Nicholson again. The Courage still have all three of their timeouts to work with. I think they just use their yep. first one there right you there. Go. So, I mean, the clock's not really a huge issue for them right now. Actually, it looks like the timeouts. Valor just took that one. Maybe they're trying to get the ball back. Third down, get a stop here. Give yourself about 40 seconds to uh, go put up a couple of more points. We know about their kicking situation. They got a great kicker. And, uh, I mean, Josh Gill can put it in from 40. Great coaches are always learning. USA Football makes it easy to lift your knowledge and your team. Click Development and Training at usafootball.com and see what coaches are talking about. Click Development and Training at usafootball.com today. A lot of resources on that USA Football website. Did talk about earlier the type of coaching that these kids get. 38 of the 42 coaches here through USA Football are actually college football coaches, so molding the future of American football. A lot of these coaches coming in with these young players. There's a quick pass there, just short, bring a fourth down. And now you got a decision. Do you want to play field position, or do you want to keep the offense out there and try and go for this fourth down. I think you go for it here, Zach. I think your uh, your defense, I mean, the defense of the Courage has been pretty much flawless other than that one big play to Madden Williams just a few minutes ago. But Courage defense has been fantastic. And if you can get this one, is it one and a half? Maybe it's a long one. Get yourself in position to uh, to go take the lead here. If I'm the Courage, I'm going for it. So Valor just used their final timeout with 41 seconds left. About fourth down and two on the Valor 39-yard line. Looks like they will end up punting it as Isaac Espinoza from Richmond, California comes out. Espinoza, a short punt right around the 32-yard line, so Valor will Probably not what James Jones position. was looking for there when uh, he was thinking about playing that field position game. <laughs> Yikes. We got good hang time, though. Fantastic hang time. I mean, glass half full right there, Zach. You got to yeah, that. Yeah, I'm trying. Uh, but certainly with the way that one played out, maybe maybe if you had that one over again. Yeah, hindsight's 20-20. Probably thought he'd get a better punt there, but it's all right. He's got a fantastic defense, and uh, let's see if they can get a big stop. So 34 seconds, no timeouts left for Valor. Courage bring a rush and able to get the sack. Suffocating. Just suffocating defense by that front four. 
no time at all. I mean, they are just in the backfield as soon as this poor quarterback takes the snap. <laughs> He's got nowhere to go. Guys like Jared Jackson all in his grill from the start. The Grand Prairie kid makes another play. We've seen him multiple times in the backfield, making plays all over the field for this Courage defense. And just big, big credits to that, not only the defense, but especially that defensive line. They've absolutely dominated the trenches today, and it's it's paid off. It's exactly why I figured, you know, head coach James Johnson, let's go for that fourth and one right there. You can trust your defense. You know your defense is going to get a big stop. Valor's down. I'm pretty sure they're out of timeouts at this point. Yeah, two timeouts left for Courage and none left for Valor. 23 seconds to go. Courage to use, just using their first timeout as Valor lost six on that first play. Well, they're thinking, hey, we got a chance to get the ball back. Yeah, yeah, Courage's like, hey, give me 10 seconds. I'll send yeah. Gill out there. We'll go Take get a shot touchdown. down the field. Why not? Or kick a long field goal. movement along the line. Everybody's pointing at the other team here. No, he jumped first. No, no, no. I, he jumped first. Coach, I promise it was <laughs> no, the it other guy. No, it wasn't me, Coach. It was him. We'll find out it'll exactly be on the courage. Who. It's like it'll be offside, so it will be against the courage. They go get some of that yardage back they lost there on that big first down sack. Let's see if Plum, I mean, I'm going Plum to, to Madden Williams here. Well, Plum's shown you the ability to extend plays on the move. So There's again, pressure from Courage. Oh. Plum not able to break free this time, got hit hard. That relentless effort right there out of that defensive line from the Courage, Just making can't. their mark all over this game. Can't speak highly enough about that front play. And it doesn't matter who they're putting in right now. I mean, they're rotating guys in and out. They're all just dogs along that defensive line. Big Devin Jones, man. He's made his presence felt all week long. The dude's got a high motor, about as high as it gets. And the dude is massive. So you courage. can say that about just about any one of these defensive lines for the Courage. Courage using their second timeout. 16 seconds left will bring up third down and 13. It's not really that they're bringing a whole lot of guys either. It's just yeah, the defensive just line. Yeah. They're just beating the man right in front of them. Yeah, when you got guys like, uh, you know, you got guys like Devin Jones, you can do that. Just rush four and uh, we'll, we'll wreak havoc on your quarterback all afternoon. 21st Century Football is here, built by USA Football. The football developmental melt model is a framework for fun and fitness through America's favorite sport. Open to every youth and scholastic program. Sign up to discover football's future at usafootball.com slash FDM. That's usafootball.com slash FDM. So here we go, third down 16, or third down and 13 rather with 16 seconds left. Plum again steps back, will have to be chased out of the pocket again. Has a little bit of room looking for someone. Instead, will take it out himself, gets a first down and then some. Is brought down at the 46, 47 yard line. The toughness there shown by Plum, and he definitely paid for it as he gets up trying to shake it off, but showcasing his mobility yet again. He's Tried to get back to the sideline, not able to do so. He's taking a bit of a beating here in this first half. Yeah. Tough kid. So that will end the first half of action. We have all zeros up on the scoreboard. And Ethan Plum being attended to right now. I wonder... Yeah, it, it, it will be the half. There were, it seemed like there were a couple yeah, of yeah. seconds left <laughs> on the board. They'll just go ahead and talk that off. So that'll do it for the first half of action. Tied at seven between the Valor and Courage. You're watching the middle school bowl game series. It's the 2019 Texas Classic here on Game On Sports. We'll take a quick break and coming up on the other side of the half, we'll have special guest Alan Papadinas. We'll talk a little bit more just about the program as a whole so make sure to stay with us here on game on sports you're watching the 2019 texas classic
You already know Team USA out here, bro. Team USA, we out here giving back to our community. You feel me? It's the only way to do it. I am so grateful to have this group of young men here today from USA Football. And they are here engaging with our students. USA! 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 Competition. Everybody's warming up to us. We're having fun. We love the whole group. They love us. Hi. Hi. Love me back. We love the kids. We love people. We love our people. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Spread the love. We should spread the love. He's going to be on my side. Y'all are our future. And I look around, and you guys are going to be off in college, off in careers in just a few years. Maybe some of y'all are going to play professional football, but you guys are the ones that are going to be in charge of our communities to come. And you guys are the ones that are going to have the opportunity to interact and to hire people that have intellectual disabilities. I've been fortunate to do this now for the last three years and getting these kids to come here for a week and getting to know them and getting to know their families has just been a great experience for not only me but my coaching staff as well so we love coming down here and the kids have been awesome all week absolutely so what uh so what's been what stuck out to you this year you said you've been here three years what stuck out to you this year that's been uh so exciting you know the talent is really good this year you know we've been fortunate the last couple of years where we had good talent this year uh the kids are just doing a really good job of doing everything that we need them to do uh, we coach in college so we're trying to bring that college coaching to them and we've been able to do that this week and they've really responded well to what we've been trying to tell them to do so it's been great so you, you come all the way from Minneapolis, right? And uh, you're down here in the heat of Texas. What's that been like for you? And uh, have you gotten a chance to try any uh, good barbecue down here? So we haven't been able to try any barbecue. We go to Fuzzy's Taco Shop, you know what I mean? But uh, other than that, you know, the heat this year was not like it was last year. It's actually hotter in Minneapolis today than it is down here. Um, but we can handle it. So we can handle it. It's been a good week. So Very good, very good. So uh, before we get you out here, what do you want to do in the second half? What would you like from your, your team in the first half? What do you want to do in the second half? You know, I really like how our team responded um, you know to them a little bit of adversity they scored first our defense been playing awesome and then offense came out and got a big touch at the end we've been a second kind of second half of practice second half of scrimmage second half we've been a second half team all week I think we can come out and get it done all right very good well good luck coach thank, thank you, you very so much and we'll send things back up to the booth that's head coach John Medlow from the Valor all right, thank you very much, Eric, and head coach John Medlow is back up here in the booth. Nick Lafayette, Zach Wolchek. We're now joined by Al Pop. Al uh, Pops. 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 We got Perfect. Pops with yeah, us, baby. Pop was joined us here last year as well. And, well, they got most of the players got here Thursday. Coaches were here the day before, but this kind of caps off the exciting extra or kind of long weekend here. Uh, what's it been like here in Frisco uh, throughout this week? Well, first of all, thank you guys for having me back. I guess I didn't turn off too many viewers last <laughs> year. So I appreciate you guys having me back. Um, you know, this, this is kind of the icing uh, on the cake of our week here. You know, we were over at UT Arlington. Um, these kids have practiced hard. Uh, two days or two practices a day, sometimes in helmet, sometimes in helmet and shoulder pads. Um, so, we're, you know, we're mindful of this Texas heat. You know, these kids are coming from all over. Um, you know, we have kids from... Portland, Seattle, California. We have some East Coast states represented. Obviously a heavy Texas um, base, but you know, these kids have acclimated well uh, to, to what it's like to be an athlete uh, at the next level with meetings, with team meals, um, making friends with people that might be a little bit quote unquote different from them. Um, you know, they're not friends with them at home, but this week they've come together and it, it's kind of like a, a microchasm for all the, of the, all the world. So, Pops, for those that don't know, why don't you tell us a little bit about your role here with USA Football and what you've really been doing to make this whole weekend or week possible? Yeah, you know, I'm just a, a small part of an outstanding team that we've had here, uh, you know, under senior manager Aaron Ingram, who, uh, I mean, the guy lives and dies in his office in Indianapolis. And, you know, I'm just a small part of it, but, you know, my role really is kind of a, 
evaluating this middle school talent um, that we see at our 18 regionals uh, around the spring. Um, and, you know, we have a, a very strict evaluation and invite process. You know, this isn't an event where we'll throw out, you know, invites to a billion kids and the first hundred that sign up, we'll, we'll roll with it. That's not how we do it. You can see we only have three quarterbacks on a team. We only have three running backs on a team. We only have ten offensive linemen on a team. So it, it's very selective and you really, really have to earn your way here. Uh, and that's kind of my role, just to make sure we get the right kids here, um, both on and off the field. So nobody knows these kids better than you. Who has stood out to you, not only from the first half of this one, but maybe just from the week of practice leading up? Yeah, you know, absolutely. We'll take this game, you know, because it's right in front of us here. Um, I, think th I think the quarterback play has been phenomenal between Plum um, and McComb for, you know, obviously Valor and Courage. Those guys are leaving it all out there on the field right now. And we've talked about it up here uh, during halftime. Um, the defensive line play on both teams has been elite. Uh, it, it's pretty interesting to see all these kids come together. And, and naturally, you know, I feel like the defense is having a stronger game, but that's what happens in events. It takes time for offense to be installed. It takes time for quarterback and receiver um, chemistry to, to, to grow. Uh, but at D-line, you just line up and play. So. Matt Williams made a huge play uh, there for the long touchdown. What can you tell us a little bit about that young man? Yeah, Madden's a kid that, you know, we talked about in our pre-production meeting about uh, a kid who's had a strong, strong week. You know, in our scrimmage the other night, he made an amazing, amazing catch that, like, everyone stopped, turned, and went, oh, my God. It, you know, jaw-dropping ability out of him. And, you know, it's one thing to do in practice. It's one thing to do it in the scrimmage. Uh, but for him to come out here again, under these bright lights here and display it, I mean, that, that proves that it's not just a fluke. The kid's got some talent. Now, I can I ask you who number five is on the Valor squad? We don't have him listed on our roster, but this dude has been super <laughs> impressive in the first half. Yeah, Zion Royal. Uh, okay. He had a great, great uh, week of practice. He actually signed up the day before um, to come here. We, we had a drop and we had an open defensive back spot, and we asked Zion, who, who graded out exceptionally well at the regionals, um, we said, Zion, I mean, we got a spot, man. You want to come play? And he did. He certainly made the most of it. Yeah, so where is Zion from? Zion Royal is from Texas, I believe. He also is a track athlete um, who, who has just done phenomenally on the field and, and off the field. I think another cool thing, you talk about uh, how strict it kind of is, like getting these, uh, you only hand it out to a certain amount of players, but there's a lot of college coaches here, and you guys are very strict on who you guys invite out here to coach these young players. What kind of goes into that process, that vetting process of how you guys pick out what coaches you want to invite and bring in for this week? Great question. Let me backtrack real quick. Zion's actually yep. from Missouri, oh, so Missouri. My, my apologies to him and uh, his family at home. Um, so, so just like these players have had to earn their way here, these coaches have as well. You know, me and, me and Coach Ingram talk about, you know, we don't know that this beast that we've created. We had 2,900 coaches apply uh, to be part of this, and we think we've narrowed it down to the best coaching staffs that we could have uh, possibly put together. Here this week, we have 38 out of 42 are college-level coaches, including every head coach in, in the three games you'll see today. Um, in addition to last week, uh, two weeks ago when we were in Ohio, running the Ohio Middle School event, we had two coaches from the Cincinnati Bengals wow. uh, in this event. So, you know, people want to be a part of this. You're, you're telling me that we're getting NFL guys who are on their, probably their only two weeks off out of the whole year, they want to come <laughs> be a part of this. Yeah. yeah, they wouldn't do that if it wasn't special. And this isn't just like one or two events throughout the year. We talk about the development model and that kids are in here for years throughout perfecting their craft. It's not just right. something that you see uh, every couple of months that kind of like camps or something, but it, it's throughout the entire year and multiple years for a lot of these kids. Yeah, we, we hate that C word, camp. We never use it. This is, this is a program and a family. This isn't an all-star game. This is an event. Um, this thing, there's, there's a starting point with us and there's an end point. So, you know, a lot of these kids will come through regionals. They'll be part of the middle school bowl. If they're lucky enough, do the right things on and off the field. They get invited to the international bowl, which is in January, you know, right up the street at uh, AT&T Stadium, where, you know, we take this, where we're playing, you know, USA versus USA. International bowl, we have other countries come. We have Japan, we have the Canadian provinces come. We have, we've had France. Um, Panama, you know, just a bunch of teams, a bunch of different countries coming with their best football players uh, to show us what they got. So if you've got kids watching at home or maybe they're here at the stadium and they're looking at this and saying, 
man, I'd love to play for USA Football one day. What are some ways or things that they can do to possibly get an invite here uh, to this event and to be a part of USA Football? It's extremely, extremely simple. It's usafootball.com backslash national teams. It'll give you all the information on, you know, how do I get here? First step, obviously, attend, an, uh, attend a regional. Um, let, our, our, let our guys evaluate you, you know, coaches, scouts, you know, you get evaluated real well and, and we carry you through the program. We have Cameron Cooper from Colorado Springs back in at quarterback for this Valor team tied up at seven to start off the second half of action. A run to the outside, able to pick up about three or four yards. Well, so Al, what are you expecting to see in the second half? Both these teams saw the offensive start to loosen up a little bit toward the end of that first half. Bingo, too. that's exactly it. Like I said, offense takes time to click. You'll see strong defensive play, obviously from the get-go, but now these guys are settling in. The nerves might be, you know, getting shaken off a little bit. So um, I'm, I think, I hope, that we'll see a little bit more offense this half. He's able to pick up three on the first play of the third quarter, second down and seven now, ball on the 28-yard line. Another handoff, this time up the middle, able to break through a few tacklers, past <laughs> the first down marker, and we'll get a first down. It's impressive. Hard nose running right there. How about that from Steven Jordan? And you guys have had tons of great running backs come through this program. Yeah, the, the alumni uh, that we're building here, not only at the running back position, but throughout are, are insane. And I'm, I'm sure you guys maybe hit on it in the first half when I was down on the field. Um, but you look, we had we had six picks in the top 60 of the NFL draft this year. You know, it, including Nikhil Harry, who went to the Patriots. Um, and uh, you know, just a bunch of really great guys that are gonna represent our program into their future programs. So first down and 10, Cooper back, flushed out of the pocket, now trying to find a little bit of room. Got a block on that outside, past midfield, and will be escorted out right around the 44 yard line. So a big run by Cameron Cooper. There you go with Matt Williams blocking along the edge to spring a little bit of extra yardage there. So with Madden, you talked about the excellent catching, but the blocking ability there as well on the outside. Yeah, no, note to receivers out there at home, be a complete player. Coaches want to see the blocking downfield. These college guys, you know, they hammer that home. Anyone can, not anyone, but a lot of people can make catches. A lot of receivers can make spectacular catches. But are you doing the little things? Are you blocking? Um, are, you, are you blocking guys downfield if you don't get the ball? What are you doing to, to separate yourself? It's rare to see kids of this age, wide receivers in particular, be that aware and have the kind of football IQ to get upfield and, like you said, make those tackles downfield. Absolutely. When, you're, when your coaches are college receiver coaches, they preach that. Yep. Timeout. Quick timeout there from head coach John Medlow, trying to get things set up. Well, Pops, thank you so much for joining us here in the clock. Yeah, as you're pointing out, still running. We probably need to add about five seconds or so back onto that thing. But we will talk to you, uh, I'm sure, coming up later on with our second and third games. Yeah. We're excited for this entire triple header. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm, I'm here whenever you guys want to have me up here. Hey, we'll have you on every game, dude. You are a wealth <laughs> of knowledge. We love chatting with you. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So we'll be right back in just a second. The Valor coming back out on the field using their first time out of the second half. Tied at seven, but they are driving behind Cameron Cooper, quarterback out of Colorado Springs. He's doing it on the ground so far, doing a quick out to the wide receiver. You're again, getting blocks downfield back toward the inside to the 20, lowers the shoulder, runs over a defensive back and is out right around the 17-yard line. Well, we were just talking about that with Al. Steven Jordan, there he is again. Nice finish, lowering his shoulder. Beautiful play along the sidelines and a big run, probably the biggest run we've seen so far here this morning. We're now joined back to Eric Chiafalo, back from field level. 8.03 to go, tied at seven, and this Ballard team again, they're marching. Cameron Cooper with the nice Little screen pass, gets it inside the 18 yard line. So first and 10, Cooper on the design quarterback run, but Courage are in the backfield and lost it too. Looks like Jaden Fuller from 
Memphis, Missouri got in that time to make the tackle. Derf is doing a nice job there on the edge as well. We've seen him do that time and time again. No one sets the edge quite like Dervis does, and uh, he just he just gave Cooper, I mean, nowhere to go. So, Eric, when you were down there, any of these sixth graders uh, maybe in your yeah, size well, was, range uh, yet, or uh, is that a little bit later on I in the I saw day? a couple of beards. Uh, <laughs> I was looking up at most of them, and I was just thoroughly impressed. They were amped, too, getting ready to come back out for the second half, man. They were jumping, hollering, and... They couldn't wait to get cranking again. So a handoff right up the middle. Good blocks up front. Right around the 14-yard line. I love Steven Jordan's downhill running, his attitude, man. I mean, we, we saw the fumble earlier there to close out the half, but it was just because he was trying to fight for every yard. The dude is north and south. As soon as he gets the ball, he's 100 miles an hour, and he's not the kind of guy you want to be in front of. It's usually going to take two or three of those red jerseys to get him to the ground. And that's what I'm talking about, man. I, I'm a fan of just put your foot in the ground and let's get up field. And Jordan's certainly done that as we've seen the running game really become very effective. A big third down and five. So Cooper back again has a couple of red jerseys chasing after him and looking for a man and has it. Is it caught? He got him. He Madden got Williams. it. Williams. It's a nice job there, rolling to his right, extending the play from Cameron Cooper. And a ball that was a little bit low, but it was well covered on the outside. And an excellent job by Madden Williams to get down to the ground, scoop his arms underneath the ball to secure the catch. Yeah, Brady Granz was chasing him around the edge there coming on the blitz and Cooper just did a really nice job evading the pressure rolling out keeping his eyes downfield and making an accurate pass on the run and of course who comes up with it it's always going to be Mr. Madden Williams. Cooper and Williams connecting first and goal now ball on the five yard line they're going with the sweep to the outside trying to break on the far side to the pylon and is in Braden Chavez Puts the Valor on top for the first time today. I like that speed there from Chavez. We've, we've seen him try to get this play going, that sort of that jet sweep there with Chavez. He's got the speed. He's done a little too much dancing throughout the game, but that time he said, forget this. I'm burning to the corner. I'm faster than you, and it doesn't matter, Xavier Woods. I'm going to beat you to the edge. Yeah, an excellent job there to finish. And the Valor pending the extra point. Up by seven. So the Valor, first possession of the second half, able to march down the field with Cameron Cooper, Madden Williams, Brandon Chavez with the touchdown, and it's 14-7, 5.53 to go in the third quarter. Yeah, it looks like Chavez limped off the field there a little bit, gets the score, fights for every yard, manages the touchdown, sort of came up a little bit gimp there. Not sure if it's an ankle or uh, Definitely in a, lo a lower extremity there, but he's, he's walking around. He's kind of he's kind of gingerly walking around, but uh, we'll see if he comes back in the game. The sport's best work with USA Football to teach the latest in blocking and tackling. Learn more, teach, and perform USA Football's contact and tackling systems for smarter and stronger play. Visit football-development.com today. That's football-development.com. So now we'll see Courage come out. Trailing for the first time. A penalty against Valor. Offside, so five free yards. First down and five now. Here comes McComb. Had a lot of speed in that first half. Again, trying to get to the outside. Picks up four. Had a nice hole there, too. Good job by the offensive line getting out there in space, pulling out in front. And a good job leading his way through the hole was his running back, Justin Nicholson. Yeah, it's pretty clear what uh, James Jones and this Courage offense wants to do when McCombs in the game. They, they like those design runs. He's got the wheels for it, and they've found success quite a bit doing those outside design runs there with McCombs. And here we go once more. Come right back to him and able to show the patience. Got a nice hole opened up for him and fights forward. 
Easy first down right around the 43-yard line. You said it, Nick, the patience there, Adam McComb, and the vision. We've seen it time and time again. The, the, the blocking has been stellar, and he gets a couple of, couple of holes. He always picks the right one. He's not easy to bring down. No, not at all. He's a tough runner and able to move the chains. And we're really seeing the running game now become a lot more effective from both offenses as we've started here into the third quarter. That's what Pop said he wanted to see, what he expected to see in the second half is a little more offense, and they're starting to open up on both sides right now. Under five minutes to go. McComb steps back, is deflected and intercepted, and it's Valor Ball. And just a little bit of a rush throw there. Pressure coming in his face of David McComb at the last second. And initially it seemed like just peeling off. And we've seen that play work to the tight end kind of in the flats inside there. But a nice job just stepping in front and making that play defensively for the interception. Yeah, the linebacker Ronan Martin after Oklahoma kid. Really, really big play there stepping up for the defensive side of the ball there for Valor. And I just talked about it down there uh, at halftime with head coach John Medlow. I mean, uh, he said this has been a second half team all week. They, they're, the second half of their practices are always better. The second half of the scrimmage the other night, they were better. And it looks like they're coming out strong here in the second half today. Second turnover forced. We have the Valor back up by a touchdown, trying for the quarterback run, but is flushed down. and. All the way back. Devin to Jones, country. once again, the high motor, the angry attitude he plays with pays off once again with a fantastic sack. And it could have been any one of those courage defensive linemen. <laughs> Poor Nathan yeah. Commander gets the ball, and he's just got to bail out of there because there is just red jerseys all around. Well, it's unfortunate because Connor Torson was wide open, 24 in blue, really from the snap. He was uncovered. Just not enough time to be able to see him down the field. Commander really hasn't been given a whole lot of time. Again, defender right in his face, able to get a nice pass going, cutting back toward the middle, has a couple of blocks past the 45. Oh! A big block on that oh side. My. A flag comes in. That one's coming Got back, boys. All the way to the 20, but it will be coming back. You know, there was a time when that just would have been a heck of a block. That's a high five and way to go, son. My, oh, my. Good Xander news. The Jr. defender popped right up off the ground, so that's great to see. From but Fort Worth, Texas, just lowering the boom on that side. And I didn't, you know, I think watching maybe, it live. Maybe would have been a block from behind. It was a clean hit. Clean, clean block. No not in this climate. It's not a clean hit. Yeah, I, I so. guess they're going to call that a crackback block. Hey, how about it, though, from Ethan Lawler? My goodness, take a wobbly screen, pass low, you catch it, and you wiggle your way all the way down the field. Unfortunately, this one's coming back. So it'll be backed up to their 40-yard line. Second and 21. I'm not sure if it was called, looked like it was personal foul. Didn't look to see exactly what the direct call was, but anyway, the screen pass will come all the way back. So on second and 30, they try and get a few yards back, but Courage defensive line again getting the first push, puts him back. Another few yards brings a third down. Just ran right into the waiting arms of Vincent Durfus there. Big 95 and red. You see him trotting over to the sidelines there. Excellent play. Job well done. Unblocked. Really just had to wait for that to come, and he just gobbled that one up. If I'm Valor, I'm saying, all right, Commander, let's go ahead and switch you out for Plum. Well, it's third down and 34. And let's go deep to Mr. <laughs> Madden Williams. <laughs> That's not a down and distance you hear a ton. No, no, 30 but, 34. Hey, you chuck this one down the field, you never know. <laughs> yeah. You can draw a penalty, a pass exactly. interference. You do have Madden Williams as well. Not sure why. Said they will run it. On the field. Oh, it's a Jason Garrett call. Hey, let's surprise him with the uh, with the draw on third and a million. We get back to the 40 yard line, not again a four. We'll bring a fourth down. So Gill will come out. 
to punt the ball away. This looks to be a promising drive for Valor off the interception called back on the big block at midfield. A couple of run plays gets a total of maybe about four yards. Obviously the penalty proved to be way costly, but big credit to that Courage defense. I mean, we've seen them step up when their backs have been against the wall after a turnover. I mean, we saw it on the first play of the game. Courage offense fumbles the ball. The defense has to come out there in their own territory, but they've stepped up just about every single time. And we'll get Stephen Gill coming back out at quarterback here for the Valor. Good things seem to happen when Gill's Courage, running the show. Courage. Yeah, Gill's been awesome. Got a very strong arm, a little bit undersized, but hey, only 14 years old. This is a kid that can grow. He certainly looks the part. He just seems right at home in the face of pressure. It's, it's incredible. Yeah, extremely composed is, is how I like to phrase it. And there you go. I think that's when they've been their most successful, Nick and, and Eric, both of them. You know, you don't have a lot of wasted time. It's, all right, we're in the shotgun. You take the snap, boom. You hit your back foot, balls out. You know, it's about one or two seconds, free release, because you don't have a whole lot of time to work with you there. Sure Both don't. offensive lines have really struggled. That was getting to one of those two. big tight ends. Win. Yeah. You got Win, you got Milton. It's like any one of these guys, big dudes with soft hands. We've seen both of them make great plays today. It just builds up Gill's confidence back there, and flags come in before they can get the snap off. It'll be a false start. And it's no surprise. I mean, we've seen plenty of penalties today, and these guys, I mean, one, you haven't been working with, I mean, the guy to the right and the guy to the left of you, you've known for about 72 hours now. So it's not as though these guys have a, a lot of experience playing together and a whole new offense, whole new defense, whatever it may be. Uh, there's obviously going to be some, some infractions, and that's to be expected. Yeah, like Pop said, obviously a, a lot of Texas kids here that we'll see throughout the game, but a lot of Players from around the country meeting each other for the first time. Goes to win again. Able to get elevated and makes the catch, but a trio of blue okay. jerseys brought him down for no gain. So for Aiden Wynn, it's not a play that goes for a ton of yards, but he has got a guy ready to just blow him up there in the flat. And he managed to not take the big shot. I, I noticed that too. That was pretty impressive. And it took about all, it took, thank God there was four blue jerseys. <laughs> right? It takes about all. It's a load to, to bring down. Goodness Aiden gracious. Wynn, this kid's impressive. And we've seen the soft hands, we've seen the nimble feet, and the dude is, is big and strong. It, uh, and it's I, probably the best time it's ever been in football to be a tight end. No question. With the mismatch problems that they cause. The free play is offsides, looks like, for Valor right around the 44 yeah, yard line. To number five. Nice job with the Cedar Hill kid, Roger Carper, making another play there for the Courage offense. It might have been a free play with an offsides penalty potentially coming up here on the Valor. And they're asking head coach. There's Jerron Johnson, number 58. Courage, right tackle out there getting some dance moves in again. I've seen it all, all game long. <laughs> providing some free entertainment for the people here. He's amped, he's juiced, he wants to get another pancake. Again, that's just one of the, the other elements of this kind of four or five days out here. Yes, you're learning from some of the best and you're getting to meet all these great coaches and other players your age, but come out here and they're having a lot of fun too throughout this week, getting to meet a whole lot of different players. Is he wearing two different colored shoes as well? I think so. And here's a nice run right up the middle past midfield, able to make a couple of men miss. And it's a first down as it's Ethan Lawler. A lot of contact there. We actually saw a mouthpiece go Boy, flying. Boy, he took a shot at the yeah. end of that play. These kids, and as soon as you get later on in the game, and we're about to get into the fourth quarter, it starts to set in. This thing's hanging in the balance. You're going to start to see the intensity level rise up that much more. like that will take us to the end of the third quarter. An impressive run by Lawler as we go to the final 10 minutes of action. 14-7 Valor lead Courage. As we'll be right back as you're watching Middle School Bowl Series, the 2019 Texas Classic here on Game On Sports. We believe in developing football players in 
a way that makes sense for both their physical and mental development. By providing multiple entry points and options, we can ensure that each person wants to play, start, and succeed in a way that's developmentally appropriate for them. Because we believe everyone should experience the fun and enjoyment of America's game. Together, we are creating the future of football. Join us at USAFootball.com slash FDN. What's the eighth done? The only thing creates greatness. I thought it was so much fun for me. I decided to do it. That far sideline getting back to the original line of scrimmage, second down and ten. It's my guy again, Zion Royal. We asked Bob, say, who the heck is this number five who's just been out there flying around, making plays left and right? Wasn't listed on our roster. Well, he was a late addition. It's Zion Royal from Missouri. You know, sometimes you look at a kid, and I'm, you know, when you're talking about USA football, all these kids are, are special, are supremely talented. But some of them are just built a little bit different. Zion Royal is one of those kids that's built a little bit different. Yeah, you can tell. He's got the dog in him. That dude just puts his face anywhere. He's not scared of anybody. Big win. I'll come get you. Try to go to the win right there on the quick slant pattern. It's broken up and bring up third down. A dangerous pass. A couple of blue jerseys right in front. So third and nine on their own 44, down by seven. Gill in at shotgun, bit of a high snap, has some time going deep, has a man wide open, just overthrew him. Great oh, play design, Coleman Diego right Coleman wide open Oof. down the sideline. Gill just couldn't connect. What a shame. That was a walk-in touchdown. Yeah, that was there, and you can tell right now, Stephen Gill getting a little bit of a pat on the back, hey, it's all right. That's one that he's going to go home tonight and wish he had back because it was there. Yeah, and what a big play that would have been to third and long, down seven in the fourth quarter. Exactly what you want, drew it up perfectly. Just couldn't connect. So fourth down, Courage out to punt. This Courage defense has done a Pretty good job throughout the game. When their team needs them to get a stop, they've been able to come up with some of those big stops. Valor will come out right around the 30 yard or 25 yard line. Let's see if Kashawn Meeks can force another turnover. He's already got the interception. He forced the fumble there at the end of the half. Let's see if he can get his hands on another football. USA Football's 2019 National Conference with speaker tracks for high school and youth football coaches delivers insight to lift your program. Hear college and NFL coaches, leaders in athletic health, and other experts in Orlando from February 22nd to 24th. Early bid rates are open at usafootball.com. Again, that's usafootball.com for the 2019 National Conference in Orlando, February 22nd to 24th. Oh. Looked like Valor was trying to get a little trickery going there, but it was read beautifully. The penetration and the aggression from that Courage defense, man. And Xavier Woods steps up once again, but just tons of red jerseys. Plum didn't know where to go with it. He was trying to flip it back to his boy Chavez, who looks to be healthy after that gritty touchdown he got just a few minutes ago. But another great play right there from the Courage. Back him up, get behind the chains, and now it's second and long. So second and 12. Again, trying to go to the outside. Able to cut back. A nice play by Johnson. Got hit hard at the 30. You're getting stood up. Yeah, that's a gorgeous run there from Jordan. Steven Jordan. We've Absolutely seen the uh, we've seen the gritty runs, the hard nose runs from him, and there he goes once again, shoving off a Wimpley tackler there in the backfield. Would have been another huge play from Courage. It was Jerry Jackson. 
Yeah, what, what, he had a beat on him right away. What would have been a two-yard loss turns into a, a nice gain, gets into third and short. And good vision, cutting back inside, weaving his way for a brilliant gain there. And now it sets up a third and manageable. Got to get it to the 35, third and three. Up by a touchdown, seven and a half to go as a man goes just through the hands. I believe that was Vincent Robles, the intended receiver. You know, if you're Ethan Plum, you've been taking a beating all after, all morning long, really. And again, I mean, he, he's you can tell when he's coming off the field here, he's certainly a little bit sore. And he actually had time there for a change. But the buildup on being rushed, being hit all day long, you don't expect to have the time, so you're forced to throw a little bit. And that was one where he had a guy breaking open into the flats. Instead, he gets the ball out a little too quick, rushes it, and ends up being incomplete, and now you've got a punt. That was another thing that happened with Gill on the wide open pass. He had the man right open down the sideline, didn't ha or had the time, and probably, like you said, don't expect to have that time and kind of rush the throw. There's a good punt. Right down the middle and is fielded at the 40 yard line. So seven and a half to go. Three timeouts, Courage down by seven. But they've been able to strike before. See if they can put one home here. And Gill's gonna get it, get another shot there to run the offense. Uh, let's see if he can shake off that bad uh, last play that they had there to close out the last drive. And, and we've seen Gill bounce back before. Let's see if he can do it again. So first and 10 on their own 40 yard line. Gill takes the snap, they're, they're doing the reverse again. And this time they got some room. Dominic Collins to the outside, lowers the shoulder and walks out a gain of five. Really nice job there by Elijah Price. I know he took a shot there on the sideline, but really good job closing. I mean, at, at first when we saw that play, it looked like there was a lot of green pasture in front of him. Elijah stepped up there at the cornerback position only giving up five yards. That's a win for the Valor defense. Beg your pardon, this is number one Owen Connor, the wide receiver from Claremont, Florida, picking up five yards, lowering the shoulder. Making up for that early fumble. So Gill steps back, again has time, has a man open and is almost intercepted. So that was Ryan Stepp, the safety coming in. <laughs> Owen Connor it up. having to play a little defense yeah, there. Nice absolutely. job. Absolutely. Ends up being a DB, pulling down the defensive back, Ryan Stepp. Got to help out your quarterback sometimes. And brings up third down and five. We've seen Gill make some nice throws today, but that deep ball just doesn't seem to be there. Takes the snap, has a man open, and is caught and brought down past the first down marker and Courage able to pick it up. It's plays like that we've seen Gill have success today. The, the, the timing plays, get the ball and get it right out of your hands, move the sticks. Really nice play there from Gill. Get a little bit of confidence back. Cash Weber with the catch. They're right at midfield now, under seven minutes to go. See if Courage and Gill try and stay with those short, quick passes, and indeed they will try a little bit of a screen. We'll pick up a few yards before getting knocked out of bounds. And that's really just an extension of the run game there. Yep. You know, it's first down, you're looking for something easy. Let's try to get a couple of yards here. Maybe you can go for a first down, but uh, pretty much a guaranteed positive play there. And I like that there out of Courage. Yep, no doubt, just get the ball out quick again. Uh, get it out into the flats and see what you can Let get Let your big out of tight end go make a play. Yeah, pick up a couple. Melton picked up two, second and eight on the Valor 48-yard line, 6.05 to go. Gill steps back again, trying to go deep. Double coverage is almost intercepted. Right now for Stephen Gill, these balls are just hanging on him a little bit too much. Just a little too much air under that one. Certainly had a receiver open going to the far side of the field. Trying to hit his receiver, Carson Darby. And if he just pushes the ball with a little bit more velocity and zip to his outside shoulder, 
Darby's got the ability then to catch that turn and run up the field. Instead, it hangs up, allows the DB time to come on over and break it up. Yeah, great defensive play there by Cameron Scott. And he's off the field now. It looks like he got a little bit shaken up. Let's see if Gill takes advantage. So third and eight. Gill has a man open, sailed it, picked off. A lot of room. Who do you think it is? Oh. Number five. Oh my God. Missouri, the late registry. Zion Royale with the pick six. This kid is special. He is an absolute stud. Yeah, the St. Louis kid stepping up, making play after play. He's been a dog all morning long, making plays all over the field. And that right there was the biggest play of the game. Royal with the pick six, 20 to seven. It's a shame for the courage. They had a guy open right there in the seam. It seemed like the maybe a miscommunication, the timing was off. Whatever it was between Gill and the receiver, they couldn't connect. And Royale steps up with another massive play. The fourth turnover forced by this Valor defense this morning. Outside of the outstanding play there by Zion, the rush is what caused that throw. You know, again, another premature throw that ends up being intercepted, but an excellent job. I believe it was James Johnson again, who just has a bull rush, pushes the tackle back into the face of the quarterback and forces another ball that just hung up in the air and Zion did the rest. Yeah, it looks like Coach Medlow was right when he told me at halftime that his team is a second half yeah. team. They've showed it all week long. Looks like Coach Medlow knows his team quite well. So that defense will head right back out there. Up by two scores now with 547 to go. 2018, more than 10,000 high schools, middle schools, and youth organizations enrolled in USA Football's Head Up Football program. The nationally renowned program takes a comprehensive approach to a better, safer game, covering player safety and football fundamentals for high school, middle schools, and youth leagues. And enroll your program at usafootball.com slash heads up. And we have seen that kind of tackling so far this morning is not necessarily going for the big hits, but going for the wrap up kind of higher percentage tackles. Bandon Duggar out there playing quarterback for the Courage now. And the offense hasn't been able to get going too much with Duggar at the helm. Let's see if he can lead the charge. Down two scores with just over five to go. Another nice job by Garrison Blair, the local product here from Frisco, able to get out there and, you know, talking with, with Pops, they feel that this kid could be the future of the cornerback position here at the program. He's built like a rock, has exceptional coverage skills. He gets straight up, lays the wood on receivers. You saw him there coming up in run support, making an excellent play. I wish Courage would have done more of this where they have Melton and Wynn, the two tight ends on the field at the exact same time. A yeah, man open on that sideline, just a little out of reach. Bring up third down and six. So I've been trying to go with that deep route. Worked one time, but haven't been able to really connect on those throughout the game. Yeah, Diego's found himself open quite a bit today, and we've seen we saw the big play there on the goal line early on in the game, and unfortunately the quarterbacks haven't been able to connect with him, even though he's been open a handful of times. The deep ball just getting the best of these quarterbacks today. And a lot of it, a lot of it has to do with the Valor pressure, no question. I mean, these quarterbacks have had blue jerseys all over them all game long. But you'd like to be able to capitalize when you get some time and an open guy downfield. Both defensive lines have been suffocating and pass again to that far boundary is caught and out of bounds shy of the first down mark. Even on a play like that, I mean, you have just enough time to get the ball out, but James Johnson, number 77, coming around that right side, or I guess be the left side of the offense, and it's just been a menace just all, all day. over the field. 
even when you have time to get the ball out, that you can just feel him breathing down your neck if you're Duggar. Hey, he's been a game wrecker, and he even switches sides. Yeah, he can rush from both sides. The dude's been all over the place. James Johnson, Athens, Georgia. Maybe he'll be a bulldog. There you go, the finally. deep pass has him open and is caught at the 40-yard line. So on fourth down, they come up big. There you go, Duggar. So it's it, that play's been there, right? All it, game. It, it's been there this All entire half. second half, really. The issue has been the ball's been sailed too far towards the sideline. You got to give your receiver a chance. That time, it was a perfectly thrown ball, and Duggar able to come up and make the play. If he had a little less on it, might have been able to hit him in stride, and that would have gone for six. But on fourth down, we'll take it. Nice job from Diego Coleman. Coleman's had a couple of nice passes. This one's almost intercepted, went off the hands of Nguyen. Yeah, that one just sailed there on Duggar. He had Nguyen open, probably could have got the sideline there. A nice gain on first down, exactly what you want. Carry that momentum from the previous fourth down, huge play. Unfortunately, ball sails a little bit, and now you find yourself in second and long. Justin Tisdell, the tight end, 47 there in red, is huge. This dude is a giant <laughs> target. Oh, man. That's not often you see. There's a uh, wide receiver is going to get charged here for the full start. And that was just a little bit, you know, Carson Darby got a little excited. Yeah. And that's when maybe the play was designed to go his way. He's thinking, I got man to man, this is my <laughs> time. This is my time to shine. That's right, eyes wide open. We'll bring up second down and 15s. Courage trying to come back. Down two scores. Like I said, it's nice with uh, Nguyen and Melton, the two tight ends, 84 and 47 on the field together at the same time, the mismatches they create. And they got Melton out wide. Looks like they're bringing him back in. 84 and 47 next to each other right there on that trips to the right. I bet they look for one of those guys. See, here's a toss. Able to cut back. Now trying to bounce back to the outside. Not able to get a whole lot of yardage. Maybe back to the original line. So I'm 0 for 2 in my uh, trying to be Tony Romo predicting the play before it happens. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I've swung and missed both times. Well, <laughs> and, you know, and especially in a game like this where the play calling is relatively vanilla. I tell you, this kid Justin Nicholson, though, he's got some nice wiggle to him. Nice little burst. It's been po Every time he's touched the ball, it's been a positive play. Right. No doubt about it. Maybe they try to get him more involved here as the game wanes down, but the time is not on their side. Well, in this USA football program have had some very successful running backs come through their ranks, made some big plays at the next levels. This one sails and goes out of bounds, incomplete third down. Van and Duggar frustrated with himself there. And this young man looks the part. You know, if you're building a quarterback and I'm, I'm going ahead and I'm pulling the 14-year-olds, I'm probably going to pick that kid out of a crowd. Yeah, no, the ball comes out of his hands nicely. You can tell, he, I mean, he, he can really spin it, but he, trying to get the accuracy under control can That's be. all it is. And, and, again, you know, it's tough when you're working with kids for or, or with your teammates for yeah. maybe three or four you've days. You've known them for about mm -hmm. five minutes. And you the not chemistry down quite yet. Has been breathing down your neck all game. That's another thing, these offensive lines, they haven't had a whole lot of time to work with each other either. It makes it a little bit de easier for this defensive unit to get past them. There's James Johnson once again coming around, this time on the right side, and just, just letting the quarterback feel his presence as he's done all game. So turnover on downs, the Valor defense stands strong and will get it back with 3.14 to go, up by two scores. 21 to seven, the Valor up on the Courage. And you have that defensive touchdown that really kind of gave them that cushion. So a handoff to Jordan, trying to get on that far side, able to pick up Good amount of yardage into Courage territory, close to a first down. Looks like they will give him the first down. 
you know, this is the point of the game where you're really happy. You have a guy like Steven Jordan on your side, a guy who can really take the air out of a game here and close it out. Nothing like being able to ice the game. Well, especially a kid that, you know, he seems like he welcomes the contact. No he doesn't question. shy away from it. You he's know not he's trying gonna... to get out of bounds Exactly, here. exactly. A guy who's willing to cut back, understands the situational football that you're in here. You want to keep the clock moving. Hand it off to him again, right up the middle, able to cut back. Breaks off one tackle and falls forward to the 42-yard line for the first down. A little sidestep he's got. A yeah. little just cut to the left side. It's good stuff, but it's always it's always to get right back north and south. Yep. He's not trying to dance around, and at the end of the game like this, that's exactly what you want. Chew up clock, and let's just go Jordan to the right, next play Jordan to the left, and that's how we'll close this baby out if I'm Coach Medlow. First down and 10, the Courage 42. Hand it off again, able to get back north and south. Takes a big hit, but that kind of propelled him forward a few extra yards. Boom! Holy cow! Caden Arlano, really nice stick there, letting out that aggression. Hey, the clock's still moving, we're still playing. Just because we're losing doesn't mean I'm not going to stick you there, Jordan. Another nice run, though and kind of just pinching too far inside for the defensive lineman there of the Courage. Jordan bounces it out to the edge, but then what does he do? Cuts it right back inside up the middle. He's just five yards every time he touches the ball, and now it looks like he's out of the game. Got back maybe to the line of scrimmage. Bring up third down. Javion Denley now in, kid from Beaumont, Texas. A little bit more of your speed back. Yeah, look, maybe uh, Steven needed a quick breather there. Understood. Third down and five on the 37. Valor trying to get one more first down and close out this first of three games today. The 2019 Texas Classic as Cooper keeps it, trying to get to that far side. Picks up a few and it'll bring up fourth down. Nice job there, linebacker Jalen Jaden Fuller. He's been all over the field today as well. They've blitzed him quite a bit. He's wreaked some havoc, but his sideline to sideline speed is, is pretty impressive. Yeah. No question. I've been very impressed, really, with the entire Courage's defense. And, and that's why I think when you get a running back like Jordan, he's just had much more success because he's just running between the tackles uphill instead of trying to kick this thing out to the perimeter where that's really just welcoming the strength of the Courage defense. Yeah, too much speed on that Courage defense to be to be messing with the outside runs. And number 16's done a great job just going north and south all game long. Valor having to call a timeout as the play clock was down to one when they broke the huddle. So 53 seconds left, fourth down and four. Does the Valor try and convert and seal this one up? It's always good when you can get in victory formation. All they need is about four more yards, and they can close this thing out and feel good about it. First down introduces kids and parents to the game of football in a fun, free, and friendly format. Kids get active and learn the basics like running, jumping, passing, and catching through hundreds of events across the country hosted by USA Football and community organizations. Kids will experience football for the first time. First down brings football to everyone and starts them on the player pathway in the football development model. Learn more at usafootball.com slash first down. There we go, fourth down and four. Cooper getting chased, has a man wide open, floats it and is caught to the 10-5 touchdown. Steven Jordan. It's an excellent job by Cooper. He rolls out and the man covering Jordan thinks, oh no, Cooper's gonna run, he peels off, leaves Jordan all alone. 
and Cooper just goes ahead and dumps it off. And wide open is Steven Jordan. He does the rest, and good on him. Well deserved to get on the board with that touchdown because he's been simply outstanding running the football. Yeah, not only that, we've seen him through the air a couple of times today. That one obviously resulted in the big touchdown there, but the dude can seemingly do it all. So Gill on for the extra point and splits the uprights 28-7. Cameron Cooper showing the football IQ. Looked like he was going to try and make a run for that first down marker. Instead, sees Jordan wide open, floats it over top, and able to connect for the touchdown with 44 seconds to go. Eric, like you said, John Medlow knows his team well. Second half team, very strong second half for this Valor squad. That's right, he said it all week long. They closed practices better than they started them. In the scrimmage the other night, they finished better than they started. And today, wouldn't you know it, they go in tied 7-7 to -7 at halftime, and they come out and they blow the doors open in the second half, 28-7. Really, really nice job finishing strong here for the Valor on both sides of the ball. Final 44 seconds. McComb able to break free of a few blue jerseys and will step out of bounds at the 40, picks up the first. David McCombs had a nice game as well at quarterback. Yeah, getting it done with his legs pretty much all game long. That's been a huge component of this Courage offense. Anytime he's there at the quarterback position, we've seen him do a lot of you know, design runs to the outside, his vision and patience has paid dividends for them. But and then on a play uh, like that, get, getting the scramble, yeah. you don't find anybody open. It's High football designed. IQ. Yeah, absolutely. Just kind of taking what the defense gives you there. Moving the change, just getting positive yardage. And California football kid, McComb. A false start here against Courage. And good on McComb to him because he got banged up a little bit earlier in the game. And that's the thing, when you're a quarterback who uses his legs a lot, you're going to take some shots. Mm -hmm. And he did that. Valor put a couple of licks on him. But he's bounced back strong, continued a, a really good performance. Unfortunately, it's not going to result in a victory for him. But really nice job out of McComb today. A lot of room to grow in for David McComb, quarterback number 17. Again, at such young ages, would be another false start. But Eric, like you said, he's gotten hit a few times, is going to be knocked up, or knocked down, rather, a few times, but has stayed with it's made some nice plays. Zach, you mentioned the football IQ for this, for this young quarterback. This time, Actually, be offsides against Valor in the final 34 seconds. Yeah, you'd like to close out on a better note here. If your courage, obviously, not going to get the victory, but walk out with your head held high, fight to the end. First down and 10, McComb looking to go deep into coverage and is in and out of the hands of Cameron Scott. Defensive back for Valor. Yeah, good coverage there again. And really the coverage has been on point for the most part all afternoon. So it brings up second down, 28 seconds left. McComb in this Courage offense looking perhaps for a quick strike. Just end things on the good note, has a convoy of blockers able to break free past midfield and is tripped up right around the 41-yard line. Another first down for McComb. Just keep showcasing the wheels. He's looking great out there, man. Just got tripped up, or he might have had a chance for more. And in today's day and age of football, we see so many more of the dual threat quarterbacks and, and what that does to a defense, the pressure it puts on them, how tough it is to defend a guy who can beat you from the pocket and beat you with his legs. McComb seems like, as just a sixth grader, already getting it done. And the last play of the game goes deep, hits the ground, and that will do it. Valor, 28-7 win over Courage in the first game of today's triple header action.
at the star in Frisco. Congratulations for quarterback David McComb, named MVP for Team Courage. And then wide receiver Madden Williams is MVP for Valor, but really a lot of very impressive players on both these squads in this first game. Yeah, I mean, Madden Williams obviously very deserving with that big touchdown grab and a couple other really nice grabs to keep the chains moving for that Valor offense. But, man, how could you not give it to a guy like Zion Royal who stepped up huge on the defensive side of the ball, biggest play of the game, it basically put a dagger in it with that pick six here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I mean, I never really thought that I'd, I'd have a man crush on, uh, on a U14 <laughs> player. But really, Zion Royal, this this young man is an absolute superstar I, in the making. I'm yeah, just I'm glad to go we shake were, his hand. I'm glad we were able to get his name and get him the proper credit because we weren't able to do that in the first half. And it was good for Pops to come up and let us know his name just so we could give him the credit and came up big with that pick six at the end of the game. But all in all, I mean, congratulations to all these young men that, that were able to come here and participate in this event, get to experience these four days here, you know, in Frisco playing this game today. It was some great football and, uh, you know, uh, several players, we don't have time to go through them all, but a lot that really stood out today, especially on the defensive lines, the tight end play. The future is extremely bright and you know, that's why this is the greatest sport on the planet. You ain't kidding. You said it. And what, what a dream come true for a lot of these kids. I'm sure we'll see most of them back here uh, over these next few years as they develop even more and they continue to grow and shine on the football field. But obviously unforgettable uh, a moment, a week, and a, and, and a game that they'll never forget. As a lot of fun, 28-7 the finals. We'll stay right here, the presentation of the MVP trophies for each team. So McComb from California had an impressive showing, got hit hard a few times, but was able to come back, showed the legs off there at the end of the game. Handsome kid, what a stud. He's Bright already got future. the flow going. At oh, a young yeah, age. yeah. California looking sharp, and then there he is, Mr. Madden Williams, best hands in the business. Look at that mouthpiece, gosh. Gosh, that thing's cool. I love those chains, too. You say football chains? Yeah, that'll be hanging up in, in a bedroom, I would imagine, here in the next 24 hours. Almost as cool as the turnover chain that they're giving out at Miami these days. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, almost as, not quite as much shine, but all the swag in the world. A little bit more class, I'd say. Yeah, that's probably a good point. No, <laughs> chain, chains are always a classy. Uh, oh, the canes, you know. <laughs> so congratulations. Nobody doesn't quite like the U. Oh, no. Congratulations, Matt Williams and McComb. On the Courage side, a couple of really good players that we'll definitely see throughout the next couple of years. These two teams showing good sportsmanship going through the handshake line. That'll do it for game number one. Stay with us, though. The Middle School Bowl game series live from Frisco, Texas. Next game scheduled for a noon start. Stay with us here on Game on Sports in the 2019 Texas Classic.